Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current PHP version. With that, we will also run a sample PHP program after installing. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. On Google type PHP. Here is the official website php.net. Click on it. Now, this is the website. Go to downloads. You can see the current version 8.3.9. We want for Windows. So I'll click on Windows Downloads. Now the version is visible. You can see for 64 bit Windows non thread safe as well as thread safe. We want the thread safe version. So I'll go here and download the zip file. Click. After clicking, the download will start. It's only 30 MB. Let's wait. The download completed. Now right click and click show in folder. Now here is the file we downloaded. Okay, you can right click on Windows 11 and click extract all. Here and you can also change the name directly. Okay, now our folder name would be the following. Click extract. Now here is the folder. You can copy, go to C drive, program files and paste it here. Okay, like this or like this. Continue. We have pasted it. Here it is. Double click and copy this path. Minimize. Go to start, type environment variables and edit the system environment variables here open under advanced go to environment variables okay under system variables now go to path double click click new and right click paste the same path okay 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 and the last okay now let us verify the installation. Go to start, type cmd, click open, type php space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Now you can see we successfully installed the current php 8.3.9 version. Okay, now we can directly run our program. You can create a new file on the desktop or to ease your work. Go to any drive, let's say D drive. Right click and uh, create a new folder. I'll name it Amit. Go inside it, right click, create a new txt file. And name it index. And change the extension to .php. Now when you'll keep the cursor here, it will ask whether you need to change the extension. Click yes. So a lot of users face difficulties here because they can't see the extension. So they won't be able to rename it. So it's very easy on Windows 11 to display the extension and rename it. Go to view, click show and here enable file name extensions. I'll disable it and now you can see the extension vanished. So to enable it, go to view, show and file name extensions. Okay. Now we have our PHP file when you'll keep the mouse cursor. It's a PHP file. Right click, you can directly edit with notepad or notepad plus plus. A lot of users still don't have notepad plus plus. So I'll go for notepad. Okay, we clicked on edit in notepad index.php. Let us quickly write something. Edit font. 15. Okay. Go to back. Now the font is fine. Now let's say I'll print echo Amit Divan. Okay. And I'll save it. Now we have the file under the following path. So on the same command prompt, go to the same path. I'll type D colon and it will change the directory. 
type dir and our folder will be visible amit okay the following folder so what i'll do i am just teaching you how to use cmd also because a lot of users still face issues i'll type cd space amit because i want to go inside the amit folder press enter and that's it we have reached here that is we are inside it now when you will type dir you can see we have a single file index.php just now created so to run this type php space index.php and press enter amit the one name printed because this is what we printed using the echo so we printed our first php program also so guys if you want a free php tutorial refer the link in the description of this video thank you for watching